Hey everyone, it's Rai bringing you episode 9 of the Learning Lec Mod series. In this episode, we're going to talk about transitioning our Liberty games into the mid game, how we go about that, com common problems you might come across, and how to solve them. Um, this is going to be an extension off of our last episode, so episode 8. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go watch that first. Frankly, if you haven't seen any of the other episodes, I would highly recommend watching them in chronological order. I believe it makes the most sense. It kind of flows into each other. A lot of the concepts we started with are, you know, consistently used. So starting there is a good way to get a baseline um, for how you can go about learning your game. Okay, um, let's just jump right into the game. This is where we left off. I believe I went ahead and bought a couple tiles, right? I bought this incense tile, I bought the amber tile. Um, I'm going to be buying a couple more um, just ahead of here. One thing I want to touch on is a common debate that people have um, when they're, you know, figuring out what they want to do in, in Liberty. And I didn't touch on this in the last episode, but it's extremely important. And it's the debate between whether or not you want to go, what you want to do after aqueducts. Aqueducts are the most, one of the most instrumental uh, buildings in Civ, and especially on Liberty, because propelling pop is how we advance our game. It's how we keep our demos high. It's how we have a lot of science without needing libraries, right? So aqueducts are kind of the crux of that. But what do you do after aqueducts, right? As I mentioned in the, you know, in the beginner guide right here. Um, the build order, you know, we go straight into workshops, but that's not necessarily always the case. There's a couple of different things you can do. The first thing and most common thing is, yes, you go straight into workshops, but the main alternative is potentially you go to for stables and then go workshops. But most commonly, if you have a really good river system, it's often that you're going to find yourself going to civil service. Civil service is obviously great. Freshwater farms are a huge boost to growth, um, depending on your land, of course. You know, if you don't have a lot of freshwater farms, I'd probably recommend just going um, workshops. But that being said, you know, the other reason is Chichen, right? As we mentioned in our tradition guide, Chichen is probably one of the most desired wonders, probably a top two wonder in the entire game. And it's very, very good, and it scales incredibly hard into the late game. It gives you an engineer point. It gives you four happiness, but the main thing is the golden age extension length, right? And, and that is so instrumental to a lot of late game strategies. So getting Chichen is just a must, right, for most tradition games. But it's possible that we can get it on Liberty as well. And in, those, in that case, making sure our strategy kind of helps with that can be very good. If if maybe the lobby is kind of lacking behind us, maybe we're we're pulling ahead, might want to consider going Chichen first, right? It it could definitely pay dividends. You know, if we if we're able to liberty engineer Chichen, it's common that we'd want to. Um because everything else we can kind of supplement with with doing something else. Okay, like if we wanted to go profit instead, well, you know, maybe we don't go profit and maybe we do uh, we build a bunch of shrines and maybe a couple temples, and that's how we get our religion. Or maybe we go for Borbador and we try to do that. But Chichen is usually something that we want to consider doing. Um, so that's the debate. I think, you know, I wouldn't recommend whoever's watching this to test it yourself. This is a pure preference thing. There is definitely no right answer. A lot of top players believe going civil first is a must. A lot of top players think just going workshops is the way you do it, right? Because workshops are such good buildings. I, I'm not here to say who's right. I'm here to give you guys the options and tell you guys what 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 the best players are doing. Um, so, you know, just take that info as face value um, and make a decision on yourself uh, by yourself. I also spawned in a, a old faithful to account for the happiness that we're not getting by trading this jade. So, if you see more happiness, that's why. Um, so. Yeah, experiment yourself, figure out what works best for you. Maybe your sim isn't up to par to go civil first. Uh, maybe you need workers or whatnot, or maybe you're just, you know, a little behind. Then go workshops. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, most of the games I play, I end up going workshops first. But I just wanted to put it out there that there is a case to be made for going civil first. Okay, and with that, let's keep going. And let's, um, uh, let's take it from there. So... I love seeing a worker being built in eight turns in an expand. Typically, this is like 16 or something like that. It's ridiculous. All right, so 
Um, let's hope Ife makes us a worker, as it's been a little while for a steal. Okay, there it is. That's super, super good. Okay, I misclicked my <laughs> misclicked my scout there, but we're not going to talk about it. Um, okay, and then let's go here. So as I mentioned, this is a really good uh, another really good talking point. So as I mentioned before, liberty is not a fixed way. There's no fixed way to play the game. This is general. I'd say if you had to follow something, um, you know, you could follow this, and you'll 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 have a good game if you, regardless, right? But I want to stress the point that on liberty, you do not have to follow the strategy. I think monuments are very important. They help with the gold bleed loss, but you you don't need to do them right away. And here's why. What tiles can I work in this city? Is this city short on tiles? Absolutely fucking not. This city has a immense amount of tiles. Right? Not only can we take this horse, we have three unimproved, you know, really high quality tiles. We're growing to a wheat. We can get this bison very easily. We're going to be settling a city on this on the stone probably. So, um, you know, that's always an option, right? We don't need to do build a monument. Monument is going to help with our growth. It's also going to help propel Liberty forward. But I think in this case, going granary and then building a caravan is higher value. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. Additionally, going wheel is very important for roads, but following wheel, we pretty much need sailing. Uh, if this wasn't going granary, this would be building a, a caravan, which means it'd be building a caravan which means we'd have one we'd need one more slot so just something to you know keep in mind when you're playing um your tech path does matter you should be thinking ahead additionally i'm about to finish settling uh we have six settlers uh, out you know our sixth one's out this one's about to finish we're overflowing um heavily into this granary we should be able to one turn it Let's think about what we're going to need, what tiles we're going to need to improve, right? We definitely want to wor be working these bison tiles, so they should be improved if we're going to work them. So that's why this worker is coming back over here. Additionally, the, the, the pyramids is going to finish in this city, so we'll, we'll likely be able to get all of the, the tiles we need improved um, over there with the pyramids workers. Okay, so that's great can keep stealing from Lijuania. I can also start chopping with this worker, which is fantastic. And then let's go over here. Let's explore what's over here. You know, um, don't have very much vision yet, but I'm sure we can figure something out. Okay. So, you know, let's just finish our worker actions and then talk about how we can, you know, maybe get some more out of this overflow. So we just overflowed really hard from that settler, like we said. We had 24 overflow after finishing a settler. That's also our last settler, importantly. So what can we do? Well, we can unwork this tile and give our cap the bison tile, right? So now we're in minus four. I, I have two food saved up, which is good. So I can potentially switch from this to this. So now I'm down to three. I'm still one turning the granary. Am I able to get another hammer? Or another another food. Yes, I am. I can unwork, you know, one of these. Okay, so now look at this. I am not starving because I. If you remember in the very beginning of the game, I said I like to hold. So I like to store a little bit of food in case I want to starve my cities to finish a granary, and and this is a perfect instance on why we're doing that. So this city is about to finish its granary. And then we're also able to just straight up um, finish a granary in one turn. There's no better feeling than doing this. So just something to keep in mind um, when, when you're playing and something to look out for. Okay, so granary done. Let's rework some of these tiles. Let's give it back to our, um, our pyramid city. Uh, I actually need two food from that city right now. So let's do that. And now we can grow in one turn. Beautiful. Let's bring this over. Okay, cool. That looks pretty good. All right. Rework these tiles as well. Um, let's work the cattle. And we can 
and stay on those. And then, you know, here's a good time where we would, you know, often think about, okay, I, I, I commonly will do this. How many workers do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from pyramids, nine from another worker steal. So we're at nine. Um, you know, I, I think this land is good enough where we can warrant 10. So let's build one more worker. Um, and then go right into a caravan after that. You know, you could totally make an argument like if you don't see, if you, you know, you're scouting or whatever. I have AI building wonders turned off, but if you're if you don't if you don't see anyone building a certain wonder, you could go for it. You know, you could go for Stonehenge here. You could go for Mazo. Um, that's totally fine. Okay, so let's keep moving forward here. Um, let's improve that iron tile. Finish the spice in. All right, happiness should be going through the roof here. The reason I'm on stone here is I want to preserve this. Uh, am I getting happiness from that? No, I'm not. Uh, I want to preserve this um, this hill because importantly, like these cities kind of lack hills otherwise. So let's just preserve that hill. Uh, this is a city that I think really wants to build a monument. Um, there's only one granary tile, but a monument actually allows us to grow out to some of the key tiles. The city kind of lacks tiles at the point at this point. Um, so here, I, I'm probably going to be settling on wheat. I'm a sucker for on wheat cities, like on desert wheat, because desert wheat is usually a dead tile anyway. So this is kind of just my preference. And then let's go construction in case we want to build any coliseums. Okay. Let's do that, do that. Nice. So I'm on two incense because we started with one. You know, ideally we try to find a trade with someone. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone has any want anything. Good day. Uh, Let's just emulate another trade because why not? We can. We probably would have been able to get a trade with someone um, beforehand. So this is just it's just good practice. Uh, and then our land, great. Um, and then let's just think about clearing this camp now. Yeah, this land doesn't look very good for him, so. It's plausible that this would be unsettled in the first place. So here's a good example of a time where we want to build a monument straight away. And I'm going to chop out the monument right now. This city can go and chop first. This is actually so many chops, I kind of want to do a second worker. And then we have another worker over here. You know, let's bring this down here and then here. So this is down to three. I don't need to work this in my cap from my cap anymore. I can give this back to this city. Now we're not starving. We're still finishing in three. This is now growing a turn faster, which is just great. Caravan, uh, speed up the growth. Let's work the bison tile and chop this out. And then we can go exploring with the scout. Let's see what's out there. We still have to meet one person, so. Okay, cool. Let's do a granary straight away. Chops are incredible for speeding up a game. I hope I've done a good job to convince people that chops are good. Chopping is good. Meeting city-states is um, typically a very strong way for us to um, get money for and then we're going to have another worker here from citizenship. All right, let's improve that horse. Go to this wheat. And then we have the amber to grow into. Finish that chop. And then head straight to aqueducts. Um, here, you know, I think it's probably best to either chop, but I kind of want to improve this and then start chopping the marsh tiles. We can grow in this city. Uh, let's grow into that. And then, yeah, this looks pretty good. Go straight into watermill. This can go watermill. 
This can go granary, water mill, monument. Okay, so there's pyramids. On turn 40 on the dot, which is great. I did not plan this, but um, I did. I did. I also did want to make sure I did not say that water mill thing, uh, that um, that pyramid turn 40 pyramids thing, because I knew I was going to get it. It was pure just, you know, coincidence, but it is definitely true. Um, okay, so let's go straight to a monument. Prove that tile. Oh, one one tile off this, this crab. You know, maybe you could argue it's on bison, but you know you don't know that. So, oh well. All right, so Zagreb's done. Let's instantly build a monument. We need to make sure. I mean, a granary. Need to catch that thing up. And now the beauty really starts. You know, demos are looking very very strong for turn forty. Remember, we're playing a pure vanilla sieve, so very very strong demos. One thing I want to kind of highlight is, uh, wait, do we have extra luxes? No, okay, we need to get our luxes up. So this should probably go right there next. We're going to be improving this gold and hopefully the jade once we get it. But as I was, I was saying, one of the beauties is now that we have citizenship and pyramids, we're able to one turn roads and we're able to one turn chop. That is going to create such incredible momentum for us and help speed these cities up tenfold. So let's feed Zagreb. Zagreb just built us pyramids, and it deserves, you know, it deserves something for its trouble. Um, so let's give it pyramids. I think that's that's only fair. Um, okay, so instead of improve, actually, we can still improve the jade. Yeah. Terrific. This is looking very, very strong. All right. Let's build a road there. And now we can build a road here, and we'll finish that road connection next turn. All right. That's done. Let's see if we can meet a city state. Okay, there's Brunei. Okay. Right. All these chops are going to speed this game up immense, like, to unfathomable levels, right? Like, look how fast this, these roads come together with, with pyramids. It's just, it's just beautiful. Um, so I'm, I really want to get this jade online, but uh, we don't have the money just yet. Hopefully we'll have enough shortly. Um, right here, I kind of want to start roading out to my other cities as well, because typically when we're, you know, ape, when we're able to, we really want to focus on, okay, there's a city state up there. So that, that, that'll be the, um, that'll be what we need over there. When, when we can, it's best to take meritocracy. We want to be able to chain our golden age. So we want a natural a golden age. And then we want to take meritocracy, which will help us do that. Then after we finish meritocracy, because again, one of the main constraints in liberty is the happiness problem, right? We're going to have really bad happiness problems, typically. So the way we avoid that is with meritocracy. Meritocracy is one of the best policies in the game for kind of just creating an immense amount of happy. Uh, let's feed our cap here. Um, it's always good to feed a cap. We could finish that. Let's uh, build a monument straight up. And let's do some worker micro to get this a little faster. Um, so here's a good point. So here's a good time to, to talk for a little bit. You know, what, what can we do in our capital? We just finished our water mill. We finished our granary. We've got four turns to, to aqueducts. You know, it's very, very possible and quite honestly, quite likely if you're playing in a random NQ game that, you know, no one's building some of these wonders. It, it, it's, it, it's actually extremely likely that no one's building Mausoleum or no one's building Stonehenge or whatever, or Statue of Zeus. But just for pure play realism, like I'm just going to go, um, I'm going to go Circus here. You could 100% go Stonehenge or Mausoleum if no one's building it. Um, 
maybe I'll make a guide on like what scouting looks like. Let, uh, leave a comment below if that's something that you'd be kind of interested in. On how to scout wonders and whatnot. Okay. Hey, thanks for uh, thanks for the gold, bud. Okay, met that. Let's buy this jade. All right, and we'll finish this road connection right here. I'm renowned, by the way, for making bad road connections, so feel free to leave a comment if I fucked it up. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Okay, so let's see if we can get a trade with someone. Nope, no trades. Okay, that's fine. Let's just spawn another one. Again, this is the beauty of uh, playing in IGE. We're able to we're able to play as if this is a multiplayer game. Oops. Yeah. Demos are looking very strong. Let's go Coliseum. Again, I think it's likely that none of the, th none of those wonders would be made, being made. But you know. I, I don't want anyone to be like, this isn't realistic or whatever. Um, so I don't I don't want to risk that. So here we are. All right. So great. It looks like this is all coming together. Let's build a monument here. Just try to grow out. Watermill, of course. Watermills are insanely good. Watermill. And then, you know, we have aqueducts coming up. So getting our aqueducts down is very important. Looks like there's a city state there. Nice. All right. So here, here comes the gold bleed problems that I was referring to. You know, some might argue that I built my roads too fast. Meritocracy is a little ways away. Um, and to those people, I'd say you're probably right. Fuck you. Um, But, you know, not every game you're going to have perfect judgment, right? And that's totally fine. I, I think, if anything, this is kind of a testament to show, like, you know, you don't have to have the absolute perfect sim, the perfect decision-making to still have a very, very strong game. So here, again, you know, I, I w would think that going civil here is correct, given how many farms we're going to have by the time we get to civil. But... For sake of demonstration, it's probably more realistic if we don't. Okay, so that's another trade we should have. Uh, no one to trade it to. Okay, let's spawn another one. Um, old Faithful, your land. Terrific. Let's finish these chops. Chop, chop. And head over here. So, meritocracy is about to come online. Thus, I want to get these roads going. And actually, it's probably best to connect this a road here. So, let's do that. Okay, make sure we're growing into the correct tiles is key. Um, okay, we've only gotten two steals from Lidrania. It's kind of unfortunate, but, you know, not every game you're going to have a good amount of steals. Not every game is going to be going to be super strong in that regard. Oh, shit. Okay. Actually, this is, this is fine. All right. Aqueducts. Okay, Q aqueducts. Q aqueducts. Finish this if we can. We cannot, unfortunately. Okay. 
Okay. This is all coming together quite nicely, I'd say. Um, do we have any more luxuries that are coming online? Uh, we have this incense. We have a spice and a jade to do. So let's try to buy this jade if we can. Let's see how much money we generate from meritocracy here. It's going to be pretty insane. Okay, so we're six turns off in natural golden age. I I don't think it's fair to say that you can natural every game, but I'd say in most games you'll be able to natural a GA. Um, so just keep that in mind. Like, you know, if you're not able to do it, it is something that does take quite a bit of practice to do. But um, when when you kind of get the hang of it. It's uh, it's pretty consistent, I'd say. All right, so we should definitely have pieced Ife there. You know, one thing that kind of sucks when you're playing with the AI is you don't have. I am not connecting these roads because I'm autopiloting too much. But um, one thing that sucks about playing with the AI is you can't get King's Day quests. You can't. It's really hard to get trades with uh, for luxury resources and whatnot. Just kind of sucks, but does it matter at all that we're losing science here? A little bit, a little. I, it, I don't think it matters that much, but you know, whatever. We're still getting workshops at a very, very fast time. Let's get one more happiness from meritocracy here, and then then start these farms. This is this is kind of the point where, that I was making where it's like, okay, if you have enough workers. You'll have the freshwater farms, right? I hope that's demonstrated in this. Um, we have plenty of workers. All of our tiles are going to be improved very soon. You know, you could honestly argue that it's worth it to um, that it, we should have went civil. And I think in this in this case. I think you'd be 100% correct. Um, but, you know, I, I think showing both is always a good option. I think, you know, there's not one way to play. There's m always multiple ways and multiple different decisions you can make. Um, so we're going to go for Great Wall here just to get double engineer points, one engineer point in our expand, one engineer point in our capital. Fairly common, I'd say, to try to get something like that. Helps you scale really well into late into the later game. Let's build some circuses, cause why not? Um, this city should build a caravan, and then we hit GA next turn. So let's start thinking about what tiles we want to buy. And honestly, let's start thinking about what we want to take as our liberty finisher, right? Um, what what could be good? I mean, most of the time you're going to end up taking profit. Profit's just very, very strong. But you know, you could do li you could do liberty engineer. I think that's also very, very popular. Um, nothing wrong with that. All right, so we're in Golden Age, making one GPT. It's fine. Let's just chop these for fun. Though it's not doing anything. I'm kind of just chopping here because my workers have almost nothing better to do. And we'll start deleting workers um, fairly soon, I'd say. Uh, once I have enough farms and enough freshwater farms, then I, I usually feel comfortable deleting workers. Um, let's just chop that. Okay, we can definitely grow. And what I'd recommend doing is like checking if you can grow in every single city. I'm kind of rushing through this just for the sake of example. Um, but great. Oh, we're four science off. That sucks. Can we grow in four cities? 
one, two. Hmm. That's pretty unfortunate, actually. <laughs> so we don't have writing, so we don't have any libraries, but. Um, pretty close to being able to do it, I'd say. Oh well. Um. You know, I guess that's the downside about bleeding a little bit early, but you know, it's totally fine. Worth it for sure. There's Great Wall. Yeah, we're 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 a single science off. Oh well. All right, where are we feeding? Looks like Pristina is struggling. Um, but we could actually get Bangkok so as an ally if we had a trade for tea. So that's something I like to like to do a lot is just like get early allies especially for maritime which helps you helps your game tremendously um, and then we can start queuing like some shrines here um, the, the question is what what would you want to play second in this spot you know you could go piety you could go honor um, me personally I'd probably lean honor uh, just because Honor is just really, really strong. And then additionally, I want to be able to kill Valetta. So, uh, and, and I don't, I don't want, I don't want killing Valetta to slow my game down. Uh, so this is a good example of a worker we should just probably delete. Um, so we overflowed a shrine already. So there's really nothing better for us to do. I guess we could just pre-build a, a scout and overflow the scout into a, into a workshop. So that's probably what we'll do. So shrine again. Okay, so we're in medieval. Let's go for writing, horseback, drama, poetry, currency, and then civil. Remember, we just really want those civil farms. We really, really want those civil farms. So let's build workshops in every single city. These are some fast workshop builds, that's for sure. And that was wrong worker movement. Whoops. Actually, I guess that's fine. We can go for the go for the fishy. Twenty off. Whatever. I'll just leave it there. I don't feel like moving it. And we're going to go to turn 60, and then I'll show you guys demos, and then we'll go from there. Uh, I could probably delete this worker as well. All right. So we're going to get that jade next turn. And here we go. We get to chain our golden age with the representation policy. So now we're at 12 turn GA. Wow, that's beautiful. So I'm gonna have a whole video on on uh, what to what to build your religion, how to build a religion properly. Uh, I'm gonna feature Glosson. Uh, Glosson's got a very very strong understanding of uh, religion in this game. So stay tuned for that whenever I decide to make it. Um, but in general, you know. A very, very strong opener for religion is ceremonial into guruship. Uh, that's just very, very, very... That's as, that's as standard as it gets in uh, in the world of, of liberty. So he's got tea. Normally we'd be able to buy tea, but obviously that's ridiculous and we're not doing that. Um, but that would give us a ally in Bangkok, which would then give us a friend in Zurich. Right, these kind of snowballs effects in um, with city states happen all the time. So getting that first snowball is very, very important. Um, so always be on the lookout for those kind of things in your multiplayer games. All right, happiness is obviously very good. We built a number of coliseums, a number of workshops. Uh, I mean, a number of circuses. Um, you know, we'll go libraries at this point. Libraries 
with liberty policy, like I said before, are kind of the whole reason we waited in the first place. So once we get that liberty policy, we should just be pretty much gunning it straight for straight for libraries to try to get our, our science back up to where it needs to be. Um, but with that, okay, let's see where this can go. We were feeding Zagreb. How much food is it at? 10. With Chichen, I think it'll it'll be faster. Pis Pristina needs food desperately, so let's, let's feed Pristina. And actually, you know what? I, I'm going to wait, and I'm going to go... I'm going to play a little longer, and I'm going to go to Civil to show you guys what the food really looks like. It's not actually like I'm talking out my ass here, like... Getting civil farms is quite significant. Um, especially it helps you grow 10 times faster. So that's another trade we could have had. Library. Library stable. Seven turns on that one. Okay, you know, we could probably delete this worker too. So one thing I want to stress is the best defense is good sim. Okay, this concept is hopefully not foreign to many of you, but I... I don't understand why, but I see weaker players or new players building, and this should definitely be working. It's engineer slot. I don't know why it's not. Um, I see new players building walls so frequently, and it doesn't make any sense. Like, I, I don't understand like where they're learning to build walls. Walls are terrible. They don't do anything for you. They don't deter attacks. In fact, if you have walls and you're a new player, I'm more likely to attack you because I know your sim's shit. Right? Like, I don't understand this where the obsession for walls even came from. Um, this needs library. Actually, this city really wants a stable. So this would probably go stable first. Um, this one can build a stable. It's a one-tile stable, but, you know, it's fine. The, the city's so far ahead of uh where it should have where it like normally would be that it, it's probably fine um you know i think it's probably good to do a lighthouse dip here for this city looking for a natural wonder um for that cs quest and we should be working the stable tiles in our capital um because we just finished that, obviously. Let's build our markets. Uh, this doesn't have, actually this has two stable tiles because of the horse it's on. And the horse actually will get one hammer from that. So again, just reworking tiles, making sure we're trying to grow as much as possible. Right, I'm kind of, again, I'm, I hope you see I'm kind of just like speeding right through this because I, I just want to kind of prove a point. But you'll see our science is really, really keeping up. Um, our build queues because we, you know, we did craftsmen are not getting over flooded. Our gold per turn looks good. We're able to build everything we want, which is just what you want to see on Liberty. Right, and th and this is just this is just like strong sim, right? There's we y you saw like we did nothing really special, like nothing. We didn't we didn't you know get any cheeky wonders. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, <laughs> ah! <laughs> that's so sad. I mean, on Bison wouldn't have gotten it either, but oh well. Well, there is the natural wonders we we were looking for. Um, so I guess that's a ally in Kuwait. So that's kind of nice. Um, but we didn't do anything. We didn't do anything special, right? We just built our infrastructure. We, we prioritized the right things. You know, I think we see this often where people are building. They're building the wrong, the wrong stuff, right? For for no real reason. Um, Belgrade's got a lot of pop. Let's put a writer's guild in it. You know, fuck it. 
Like this has some stuff. Like let's money's our issue right now. This is gonna have silk, um, spices, and jade. Probably a good market city. Um, this city wants to keep growing to tiles. Let's build an amphitheater, right? These the the decision making I hope is coming across. Nothing I'm doing is like terribly intricate or difficult. I'm kind of just playing my land and. Frankly, this land's nothing to write home about. It's it's quite good. It's fast. It you know gets the job done, but it's pretty condensed. Um, I'd say I'd say it's it's good. It's definitely above average, but it's nothing. It's nothing amazing, right? Our start was was fine. Um, okay, let's work this writers guild. Build a garden. You know, we're not going for wonders that would normally be uncontested. Um, we're just kind of playing it safe. Like, this game could be much, much better. You know, maybe I get Petra in my capital or... Or not my capital, in Skopje or in this city, right? Like, there's a lot of different things you could do to make your game a little bit better than it normally would be in a multiplayer game. But, um, you know, we're obviously we're kind of breaking the game by emulating trades, but that's all a part of it. So, okay. Here we go. We're nine. It's turn sixty-five. Uh, we have our workshops up. We're about to get civil. Let's check demos. I want you guys to guess what demos look like right now. Like, what what do you guys think demos look like um, for us? Like, we don't care about the AI. We don't care if we're in first. Of course, we're in first. But what do they look like for us? So I want you to think about it. And then, you know, maybe pause the video and just, like, be like, okay, like, you know, I, I saw we were at, like, 90 hammers before. We're in golden age now. Well, what does it look like now? Okay. So, I assumed you guys checked. So, da, da, da. 200 hammers. 179 food. Okay. So, this is, this is quite good. This is quite strong. Um, let's see the difference between food after we get civil. Look at those tiles. Oh my god, they look so much better. And then we can rework some of these tiles here. You know, because now we actually have the food to justify working them. Look at this. This is a guild city if I've ever seen one. Right? Like, okay, this can work this. Um. You know, do a market. What you know, like n none of this matters, right? Like, our our game is insane, right? And nothing we did was crazy. You know, I, in this game, I'd probably end up going guilds first before because I have a really good city that can build Machu. But um, okay, what? So it was one seventy something. Well, now it's over two hundred. So that just gave us thirty food, which is disgusting. That is so much food to gain just from one pol uh, one tech, right? And not to mention, it's gonna snowball like crazy because every city just gained you know, on average like three food so we're able to grow substantially faster in every single city right okay i'm gonna stop the video here we've been going for like 45 minutes i hope this was informative i hope you guys learned something we're about 60 pop on turn 60 nothing crazy right this isn't anything super high this is i'd say a pretty average liberty game um, you know, we're, we're, we're going to start building shrines and temples and whatnot, uh, to get our religion. You know, we can open honor, piety, whatever we want to do. We're still in a golden age, right? We're scaling super, super hard. Um, and I think, you know, by, at this rate, we're looking at, you know, unis by turn 74, maybe, um, cause we'll be able to build, uh, NC and all that stuff. So, yeah, like, I hope this has been helpful. I hope you guys have learned something about kind of how to transition from that early game into the, into the mid game, what you should be doing, why you should be prioritizing workers as heavily, you know, your cities don't slow down because you built a worker first. In fact, they probably speed up, like split, speed up, split built two workers. And it's cut probably the most buildings of any one of my cities. Right? And it wasn't even a fast city. It was just because the amount of chops made it worthwhile. So I don't, like, there's no 
And I just want to go back to this as well. There's no fixed rule. You saw me do worker monument granary in maybe two cities, right? In most cities, I did worker. One city I did worker worker. One city I followed this path pretty much to a T. Um, you know, like I I was able to build coliseums and circuses in a lot of these cities. So I just want to stress like. Liberty is extremely flexible. You can do whatever you want. You can build anything and the game is likely going to be pretty forgiving for you. Um, you know, we're about to generate our first engineer on turn 72. That's quite fast. The game's looking strong. It's looking like a very strong game. We can, we can make any play we want. We could kill a cod. We could kill Axum. We could kill Australia. We could kill CS, you know, we could play piety scale up. We could go artillery. We could, do late crossbows like you know well, maybe not late crossbows or gold's pretty bad but um the the point is there's a lot of options and liberty is what allows us to do that so anyway i'm gonna end the video here hopefully this has been helpful let me know in the comments if you guys any if you have any questions i'm happy to answer them but until next time thanks for watching and also stay tuned for the next one so subscribe if you haven't